Hello! My name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Ultimatum League 3.14. In this episode, I have the best POB League starter in the world. This is the greatest thing you'll ever find. It is the most, it has the most breakdowns. Okay, so to explain, it's 120,000 DPS skelly uh, per, and I have 7,000 life, 7,000 armor, no flas, uh, res cap, uh, and it and it tells you how to do all of it. It has all the planning and this is the uh, survivability. It's pretty good hardcore viable except for chaos uh, You should cap your chaos, but uh, Why is this the best POB? Okay, so To get it started. I broke down the skill tree by 12 points every 12 points. I have I have a break point uh, I think this is a lot better than previously uh, it shows people way better uh what i'm my intentions and what i'm doing and where i'm going and it, it's it, this is a lot more accurate than the bigger uh breakpoints okay same thing with the leveling i redid all of the leveling i redid all of the gems i even wrote here drop spirit off uh raging spirits animate weapon and frost blowing, and i added some stuff and then i took out like we don't use pride in leveling anymore so that you have the extra mana to be able to use your skeletons and we only reserve like 70 or 80 percent of the mana uh another thing is uh i did all of the gear so you have the starter gear before level 12 you have the gear at level 12 you have the gear at 24 you have the gear at 36 48 60 72 72 is basically when you're at maps this gets you to maps tier 5 mapping hardcore viable so um now i go through the smurf gear uh some smurf stuff if you if this is a second character you could wear a gold rim a tabula and a wanderlust or uh you can wear seven league steps and uh, darkness enthroned with two ghastly jewels that require no level um, and things you can search for on these jewels that uh, don't require levels is minion leech minion all res minion regen uh, and then you have minion leech minion all res minion regen this is just to show you the example of what you can do um, getting all of them on the same jewel in this is smurf gear right that's the whole point uh, bringing in some god shit so that's what you would look for and then yeah i broke down all the gear, including the flasks, including all the gear, all the bases, um, and then the leveling, yeah. So, I guess I'll go through it real quick. First 12 points, same as before. The 24, we go towards uh, Enduring Bond and Quick Recovery. 36, we're getting the Sacrifice, going to Grave Pact. 48, uh, Grave Pact and going to Death Attunement, we get our first Ascendancy, Mindless Aggression. Uh, I kill all bandits in this for the extra two passives. Uh, and then at 60, we go to Death Attunement, Fearsome Force, and the Purity of Flesh. Fearsome Force works with the melee splash skeletons and uh, also their aggressiveness. Uh, how far they reach the, like, you can, can tell that an enemy is there. Then I go to uh, Combat Stamina and Constitution and Cruel Lab. Uh, it's apparently not selected accidentally. I don't know how I did that. Oh, I didn't carry over that either. What the heck, dude? How did I do that? Uh, and Cruel Lab. And, oh, broken again. I, I missed it one time, and then I forgot to carry it through. Okay. Um, so, yeah, 72 points in Cruel Lab. And then we get 84. Fill out the rest of the Constitution and go down for this uh, Warrior's Blood, Heart of the Warrior, Extra Armor. And then I filled in the rest of this uh we get the extra life up here um and we get indom army uh then we can go 108 and merc so we get bone barrier and then you can go for juggernaut and soul of steel for more armor more life more uh max res and then filling out the tree is the extra life that we miss the extra jewel sockets um and then the extra life and then the extra minion survivability I got some extra minion regen, minion life. Uh, it, it's nice. It feels good. And uh, that's the skill tree. I only took it to 120, 97. And then the build at 87 is still 7,000 life. So it's just the points. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Um, and then for skills, 
we start with ethereal knives zombie this was the change i made this season uh, i like it a lot instead of the freezing pulse ethereal knives is fun because then it leads into level four animate weapon and you can raise the uh, ethereal knives to to be an animate weapon and they follow you like zombies but they have a duration like skeletons uh so it's a fun like you can enjoy them for a couple levels four and eight up to ten uh and you can use melee splash on the anime weapon you can use so at level four we add phantasm to them uh so they can summon phantasms when they hit we also get frost blink at level eight you get so uh melee splash and minion damage so I replace the Phantasm on the Summon Raging Spirit and the Animate Weapon with the Melee Splash Minion Damage. You don't have to do both. It's whichever one you prefer, the Animate Weapon or the uh, Summon Raging Spirit. And then Phantasm Minion Damage on the Zombie. Uh, at level 10, I drop the Summon Raging Spirit and the Animate Weapon and Frost Blink because I get Val Summon Skeletons. Uh, normally you would just have Summon Skeletons. So Summon Skeletons is also still better than both of them. And so... You, how you get Val Summon Skeletons is Val Side Areas, or you just use your first view Val Orbs on the Summon Skeletons that you get. And uh, that's a really good method to get your first Val Summon Skeletons. And I link it with Melee Splash, Minion Damage. Uh, same at level 10, we get Vitality. Vitality is the difference for keeping your minions alive with the regen. It's amazing. Uh, even with the nerf uh, flame dash instead of frost blink because it has farther range and it's an in instant dash uh, This took me a long time, but I'm, I'm exhausted. I, I've been working on this for like f f hours 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 of months of fucking prep uh, At level 12 I get spirit offering for the res cap and uh, this is as much damage as flush offering It's also nice early because at around level 12 so 24 points we don't have any res on the skill tree yet, so Spirit Offering can actually be the difference between your minions surviving in the beginning and not, because it level it's only level 12. Uh, it's pretty early. Uh, so that's really nice. That's why we, we actually don't force the, uh, the minion res as hard as we used to. I find that Vitality Spirit Offering is very good for the minion survivability. And then at 16, I go Skitterbots. At 18, I get uh, Melee Fizz, so I add that to my Val Summon Skeleton, so we have a 4 link. Raise Zombie, you get minion life instead of minion damage. It helps the survivability. Uh, 24, you get Convocation, which can help the survivability by adding regen and moving your minions around. At uh, 24, you also get Enfeeble. You don't have to use it, but I, I recommend grabbing it. Uh, at 31, you should add War Banner Generosity uh, to the build. You technically could add War Banner earlier, but... It's fine. And then uh, you get it at like the library and shit. That's why. And uh, at 31, we also get Feeding Frenzy from the library. So you can add Feeding Frenzy uh, to your Ray Zombie Phantasm minion life. And then we have uh, also at 31, you get Fortify. So we can do Shield Charge Fortify. And uh, and then the Spectre, you, you get... Uh... Oh, they changed it. Oh, life tap's only level 8 now, so I didn't have to wait to 31 for the... Okay. In the past, the reason I did this is because blood magic required level 31, but actually life tap is only 8, so I guess I could add this at um, 28 into the build instead, but this is still fun. Uh, at 34, we choose Chaos Golem over Carry On Golem, and this is because I'm showing you my hardcore viable SSF uh, league start, like... That, that's the that's the plan of the build that's why we do uh chaos golem instead of carry on even though carry on's more damage and uh, i put out the video at the beginning of the season of how good carry on is with summon skeletons because they have 50 percent more added damage and then we have level 38 uh, uh i show you all the gems and the links so that you can simulate it, because at 38, Act 6, you get all access to all the gems by doing the uh, the shore. You clear the shore, and then you get to talk to uh, Nessa, and you get all your gems. So we unlock uh, Brutality, and uh, y it's unlikely that you'll have a 6 link, but yeah, you can get unlock Brutality here. Uh, which then we switch to Flesh Offering instead of Spirit Offering. 
uh, for the move speed and the attack speed, and we don't actually get the extra damage from Grave Intentions when um, when you're using Brutality, because you can't deal Chaos damage with the minions. And then we run, uh, so the, the link is Valisum and Skeletons, Melee Splash, Melee Fizz, Brutality, Minion Damage, Ruthless. If you had a 5 link, I would take Ruthless off. If you had a 4 link, I would take Minion Damage off. If you had a 3 link, well, no. You don't have a 3 link at that point. You have a 4 link. You're fine. Probably a 5 link. Maybe a 5 link. Um, if you're lucky. So, Convocation in the ring. Flesh Offering in the weapon. Flame Dash in the weapon. Immortal Call in the in the shield with cast and damage taken and feeble this is very important keep the cast and damage taken to level one immortal call level three and enfeeble level five to keep them under level 38 requirement war banner generosity in the glove with skitterbot unbound ailments in the glove uh helmet i put specter minion life life tap zombie uh to explain the life tap really quick uh the two specters we use are Two Carnish Chieftains, one Host Chieftain, and uh, f found first, you can find the Carnish Chieftains in Old Fields Act 2, um, and then you can add the extra Host Chieftains from Act 7, Ashen Fields, you can find both of them, Car Carnish Chieftains and Host Chieftains in um, Ashen Fields Act 7, and then the Life Tap makes it so they use... Uh, life instead of mana for their ability to give frenzy charges and power charges and uh, they don't actually have like really good mana regen or mana regen at all so therefore making them use the life instead they have life regen they have life leech they can actually recover and they can spam their ability so you uh, every six seconds they're casting the frenzy and power charges instead of whenever they have the mana which is way worse uh, so life tap highly recommended. It makes their skill cost life instead of mana. And then yeah, minion life raise zombie. And then I run chaos golem with feeding frenzy. Here we have um, shield charge fortify in the boot with the boot with the chaos golem feeding frenzy. So the chaos golem also have has fortify. Uh, and then I put vitality in the ring and desecrate in the ring. So this is supposed to be the weapon. I messed up the beginning. Okay, and then in the second phase of it, I actually changed the six link to maim. So I'm going to just change it for the first one too, uh, to maim instead of ruthless because I, I found out that I liked it better and I forgot to change it here. Uh, so I highly recommend maim as your six link instead of ruthless. Uh, I like it better. Ruthless is for stun, but it's less consistent damage. Uh, so then it these are the exact same links, except... Uh, we're now doing level 20 gems to simulate, so you would literally take these level 38 all the way to uh, to mapping, and this is your build. Okay, and then if you wanted, you can swap out zombie into here and take out melee splash for multi-strike. So zombie, multi-strike, brutality, melee, fizz, minion damage, and then maim for like ruthless or something to synergize with the multi-strike for the stun if you want. And then you could add maybe the maim somewhere else because you have an open gem slot in your helmet, for example, on the specters. Maybe you do it there. I'm not sure, but that's if you wanted to switch to zombies, but you don't. Yeah, the skeletons are better. Um, so I showed the whole skill tree all the way up. I showed all the gems all the way up. I showed our DPS already before this. Let's go through the gear real quick. So I went through the smurf gear, but for this, uh, for the beginning... Let's say starter gear. What does this mean? Uh, this is in regards to before you're level 12. So you just started. You are looking for your base items. You literally have nothing. You're just trying to fill out the missing shit. The most important stuff is an amulet for dex. So I go Jade Ami because it requires level 5 and you don't get a Citrin until, uh, until level like 14 or something. So start with a Jade Ami for Dex, and I go for a Heavy Belt for Strength, and I use Sapphire Rings for the Cold Res, and then I like to go for an Armor Shield, an Armor Chest Plate, and then I try to make the rest of the stuff as easy as possible. So like, Blues, 
for the helmet, blues for the boot, so I do a full ES boot with move speed. I just want move speed and maybe like a four link, if I can, a three link of blues to put maybe the zombies in temporarily, or with a wand I could put the zombies in. Because um, it can be difficult to get blues if you're doing armor bases, so... I I only I try to prioritize the highest armor bases if I'm going to make them ha have trouble getting extra sockets and shit. So the most valuable armor bases are the shield and the chest plate. They have the most armor for one piece of gear. And then the rest I do like armor ES, armor ES and then an ES boot. And then I prioritize move speed on the boot. Um and I and then maybe some resistances if you can like cold res for Mervail fight. But now we lead in... Oh, and life last. Small life last, small, and a quick silver. That's my setup normally. We go to level 12. At level 12, so no resistance penalty because you don't have Katava yet. Um, and with, you know, the, the basic skill tree, so you don't have, like, shit. Uh, you can res cap at level 12. So if you didn't know, you can actually use the crafting bench and craft resistance at level 12 of... Um, yeah, up, yeah, 18%, 16 to 20 of a res. So you can do 20 lightning, 18 fire, 18 fire, 18 fire, eight, 19 lightning, 18 fire, 18 cold, 18 lightning, 18 lightning. And these aren't even perfect. They're just the middle rolls, uh, fire res. And then I use a bubbling greater life flask I recommend. Uh, then we have just regular greater life flask, uh, greater mana flask, and quicksilver. So you can res cap with the crafting bench for one transmute per craft uh, at level 12. You will have way better survivability with this because you'll have some armor and you have res cap, which is disgusting. If you have res cap against Mervail with vitality and stuff, it's really hard to die. You should try it. <laughs> uh, then at 24, I point out that you get the tier 2 craft, which is one alchemy. And it has higher tier crafts of res, so it's even easier to res cap. And you can use all the way up to, uh, this is, um, I show that you can roll a Wailing Essence of Fear, and it only requires, like, level two level uh, 20 or something or 24 so you can actually have 45 minion damage a wailing essence of fear uh, at before level 24 it's disgusting it's absolutely insane and then um yeah should change things we change to a citron amulet we change to two stone rings and then we obviously have higher armor bases so a war plate a copper tower shield i show the bases for every single level the ones you'll be looking for for the different amounts and what you can expect i also put the life on each gear so at level 12 we didn't have any life on the gear at level 24 this is the max life you can get 45 46 46 45 uh, 15 move speed instead of 10 move speed we have life and then um life so i show that at 24 with the 24 points on the skill tree you'd be a little bit more uh you'd have some decent life res cap some decent armor you're you're laughing straight to the bank hardcore viable by the way and then uh you also get a giant life flask you get Stib Knight Flask, so you can use this to create a smoke cloud, which can blind the enemies, which increases your survivability by a lot because they'll miss. Uh, they, they lose accuracy by like 50%. It's crazy. Uh, you can wear a giant mana flask. You could also use a silver flask at this point um, for the onslaught for extra move speed. At 36, uh, I show that you can upgrade the essence to the next tier. So screaming, easy screaming essence. Uh, then I also show you still have the tier two craft. You can't do the tier three craft yet. Um, and I switch it for a sacred life flask with bubbling sacred mana flask. We get a granite flask at 27. So you can start to use that and you get a quartz flask at 27. So you can also use that. This is for phasing. This is for 3000 armor. You only have a thousand. So an extra 3000 armor is disgusting. Uh, at 48 we get uh the next tier of essence shrieking essence of fear uh it's unlikely you would have these but if you did um and then you also unlock the higher tier of the benchcraft which is three chaos to craft uh up to 35 cold fire lightning and so that's pretty cool too 
And then this is where, uh, around this point, is Act 5, Act 6. I start to recommend to get some some cold, uh, some cold Chaos Res, and also uh, you'll be at Act 5, so you lose 30 resistance. So the, ca the, cold, the extra Chaos Res was just to make up for the missing 30, and, uh, and then we still are able to res cap, even with the missing resistances. Be just off of crafting the resistances off the bench with the three chaos and chaos is kind of easy to get this season with ultimatum if you're doing if you do it during your leveling so that was really nice actually um and so again you're able to res cap and i upgrade the pieces of gear so 541 armor and this one had 440 and our life went up to 2829 and that's with a 36 point skill tree let's do 60 uh, we're up to 3,000 life, 1,400 armor, um, and even some chaos res that we got on the skill tree, so we're doing pretty well. And it's around the exact point when you would want the chaos res, it's perfect. And then um, we get our ascendancy, then we continue. Uh, the life loss, uh, we can swap out at 40 uh, for a basalt from the granite. We don't need the granite anymore, we can swap to basalt, I like it better. And a uh, hollowed mana flask, hollowed life flask, slightly better at 60. Um, you're just continuing it, better better gear. So Crusader 700 armor, 577 from the shield. Uh, same essence on the wand, on the scepter. Uh, the reason I did a scepter instead of a wand was just to show you that you could do a scepter instead of forcing people down. Need, like thinking they need a wand you don't have to do only wand you can do scepter as well it's just to show like different options for crafting the essence of fear on it to like open up people's minds um and then still throughout all of this actually i forgot to show this part the boot 20 move speed at 36 at 48 25 move speed at 60 30 move speed so you can keep upgrading the move speed as you go to upgrading the life on the gear um, and then we get a Divine Life Flask at 60, we get Divine Mana Flask, which... What level is the Eternal? Oh god, wait, one mo one... I, I hope it's higher. 65, perfect. <laughs> okay, and then Basalt, Quartz, and I put uh, Shock on the Quartz. But the, if you want to know what to put on the Flask, it's on the final part. I have um, Bleed Immune, Bubbling... I have Freeze Immune, Enduring, I have Ignite Immune, Reduce Charges, I have Increased Duration Shock, and I have Reduce Charges Curse. This is what you want. If you were looking for what you need, that's that's what I recommend. Um, and then let's go. Okay, so now the next part. Uh, yeah, we did all the 60s. And at 72, uh, we get... Ezomite Tower Shield, Astral Plate, we got Titan Gear, Citrin, Unset Rings, where we get two extra slots in our build, that's super sick. Um, yeah, that is the overall, all the scaling of the whole build, and that's this is incredible and will help so many people. And so, uh, the t Spectres, <laughs> Kill Bandits, and Spectres... Two Carnage Chieftains first from Old Fields Act 2 or Ashen Fields Act 7. And after you have two Carnage Chieftains, go for one Host Chieftain from Ashen Fields Act 7. There you go. GG man, that's my scaling, that's my build, that's the that's the insanity that I've put together and this is what I was playing and this is the stuff that I've been working with and uh, the logic. So the final part, I left one thing, uh, the ghastly jewels, oh, I kind of showed them already but yeah, you, because I showed them as part of the, um, the smurf gear. So as the final though, in the when you're at maps, the the jewels you want when you get these extra jewel sockets on the tree. So this isn't for the darkness enthroned. This is for when you make it to maps, what kind of jewels you're looking for. Um, apparently these changed. I don't know how that happened. It was supposed to be this one, this one, and this one. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, now it works. Okay. 
uh, fixed. So we can show life taunt, life blind, and life minion damage if you've used a skill recently. Obviously you can get more stats than just two on each, but this is to show like what you could should look for pretty much as like to get these first into your build uh, for them to be worth it. The taunt and blind is really unique and special and then extra minion damage with life is pretty cool. This jewel's pretty hard to get, kind of expensive. That's why I showed it as an extra. You could get more of these. <laughs> uh, either way, I, th I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helps people trying to get into my build. I think the best part is when they get into the POB and actually dig through all this stuff themselves and they start playing it and they're like, oh my god, he's done it all. He broke it. GG. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, <laughs> I can't do this without you guys. So uh, thank you guys for all the support. And thank you to anyone new who joins the Patreon, Patreon or the YouTube members today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.